Here is part two of graphing trig functions. I copied our equation here. If you need to go back and watch the first part of the video of, of this graphing trig functions, uh, if you don't understand what's inside this rectangle, that might be helpful. So here we go. We want to graph y equals sine of theta over three. Now, one thing we have an, a divided by in, in our equation here in our rectangle, it doesn't look like we have any division. So what we can do is we can think of this as sine of one third times theta, which we then realize, well, that one third there, that's kind of, that's this B, that's what is multiplied times theta. So looking at our equation now, our phase shift, there is none. There's nothing added to theta here. So this is a none, which means our starting point is zero. Our period, period has to do with B. So this one third, and what we learned was the period is going to be two pi over B, over one third. Well, we know that division it's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So this is two pi times the reciprocal of one third, which is three, which is six pi. So our period is six pi. Our amplitude, our amplitude comes from what is multiplied out here. And that's an understood one in this case. So the amplitude is just one. And the vertical shift would be what's added to the end. Well, there's nothing out of there, so the vertical shift is zero. Okay, so we're going to graph this. I'm going to put in our x or theta axis. Since there's no phase shift, we can just draw the y-axis. And so if we remember from before, the phase shift is none which means our starting point, it did not move left or right at all, so our start point is not moved left or right, so it's at zero. And then what we do is we add the period to find the end point. And the end point of our first cycle the graph keeps going on forever and ever, so there's not really a start point or an end point. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark down here somewhere, and we need to take 0 plus the period. Well, the period in this case is 6 pi, so 0 plus 6 pi is 6 pi. That's the end of our first cycle, and then we remember we divide that into four equal parts. So we divide in half, and then we divide that in half. Well, half of 6 pi is 3 pi. Halfway between 0 and 3 pi is 1 and a half pi, or 3 pi over 2. And this is 4 and a half pi, which is 9 half pi's and 9 halves pi. So we have those same values over on the other side, but in the negative. All right, our amplitude is just one. So we can just put a mark here at one and at negative one. Vertical shift is zero, so nothing to do there. And now we can graph. We're realizing this is a sine function. So sine starts at zero. And it draw in my guidelines. I actually don't have to have them. You can Find your points without it, but it's just a good guide to, to help. So start at zero, go up to the highest point, which in this case is one, back down to zero, down to negative one, back up to zero. We can sketch that part of the graph, and then this pattern continues. And it will look like this. Moving on to number six, 
y equals cosine of 3 theta. We start with our phase shift. Nothing is added to theta, so it's none. We actually don't have to put that there. Period. It has to do with the blue, and there is a 3 there, so our period is going to be the normal period of cosine over that number. So the period is 2 pi divided by 3. We'll just leave it like that. That doesn't simplify at all. Our amplitude is what is multiplied here, which is just an understood 1. And then nothing is added at the end here, so our vertical shift is 0. All right, so we're going to draw in our axis. There's no phase shift, so we can just draw in our y-axis. And since there's no phase shift, it doesn't move left or right at all, so the start point is 0. We are going to add the period, which in this case is quite small. It's 2 pi over 3 or two-thirds pi, either way, to get the end point. And so 0 plus 2 pi over 3 is 2 pi over 3. So we're going to put an end point here. Now, this is pretty small. So instead of just picking out here at the end and saying this is 2 pi over 3, I'm not going to do that. We could, and it will work. But we're not going to do that because I want you to realize that this uh, graph is um, much cl kind of closer together, maybe we can say. So it's going to do a full cycle within two-thirds pi. So I'm going to put two-thirds pi here. And we need to split that into four equal parts. So we split it in half, and then we split that in quarters. I will put the half there. That's if one full cycle is the end of it is two thirds pi, we do that half of that is one third pi. And then making this so small, it would be hard to put those other ones in there. Um, this first one, I'm gonna, that would be one sixth pi. And the next one would be, um, let's see, one sixth, three sixths pi, which would be actually one half pi. So turns out interesting, but we won't mark those. And then I'll put four marks over here, trying to space them out the same. So we have our starting and ending point. Our amplitude is one. So we can go up to one and down to negative one. We could put the guidelines in there. You don't have to. So this time I won't. I'll just show you what that looks like. And then there's no vertical shift, so we are graphing cosine. So cosine starts up on the y-axis. So the cosine starts up here at 1, goes down to 0, down to negative 1, back up to 0, back to 1, and that would continue. And so I don't have the guidelines, so I'm just trying to put it at the correct spot here. So there's so there's our first cycle. And then I just put in some more points so we could get a little bit more in. And then we do the same, continue the pattern over on the left side. And there is our graph. Sliding down to number seven here. Ah, number seven has two things in it, so this is good. So this uh, two out front here, that was normally red for us, and the four was blue. My rectangle is out of the picture here, so we're just going to have to remember it. You obviously can write it again somewhere. So phase shift, there is none. There's nothing added to theta here. So the phase shift is zero. Or there's no phase shift there. 
So that's none. Period. Period has to do with this four here. The normal period of sine is two pi. So we do two pi over four, which reduces to one half pi or pi over two. Amplitude. There is an amplitude change here. It is two and there is nothing added outside. So the vertical shift is zero. We can draw in our axis, our theta or X axis. Since there is no phase shift, we can just draw in our Y axis here and that will be our starting point. So the starting point is zero. And then we're going to add the period, which in this case is one half pi to get our end point. And so the end point, and again, this, this period is short. So I'm gonna put it about right here and say that's one half pi. We're going to split that in half and split those in half. So this is, again, pretty small. But if this is half pi, half of that would be one quarter pi. And then this one would be one eighth and this one would be three eighths. But I can't write small to label those. Negative one eighth pi, negative one quarter pi, negative three eighths pi, and negative one half pi. The amplitude is two, so we go one, two, negative one, negative two. Let's go back to our guidelines. And we are graphing sine. So sine starts at zero, goes up to the highest point, which in this case is two, back down to zero down to negative two, back up to zero. So there is our first cycle. And we could continue the pattern here for a bit. That's good enough over there. And then we can work our way backwards to continue the pattern. And there's the graph of two sine of four theta. Number eight. We mentioned this another time in number five, I believe, but this theta over three, it's probably better to write it. So we got one half cosine of one third theta. So this one half out front, that's our red, that's our amplitude. And then this one third is multiplied by theta. That's gonna be our blue, that's uh, has to do with our period. So we're gonna write our four things down here, our phase shift, there's none, because nothing's added to theta. Period, period is the normal period of cosine, which is two pi, divided by the one third. This is clearly division. This division is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. Some like to say keep change flip. So two pi times the reciprocal of one third is three, which is six pi. Amplitude is half. And there is no vertical shift, nothing is added out here. So we'll draw our horizontal axis in. There's no phase shift, so we can just draw our y axis because we don't have to worry about shifting left or right. Hmm, our starting point, since there's no phase shift, starting point is zero. And then we're going to add the period, which in this case, the period is six pi 
to get the end point. of the first cycle. So zero plus six pi is six pi. So here is our n. Six pi is pretty far away. In fact, let's go ahead and make our horizontal axis longer to put in six pi here. The normal period is two pi, so we're way out at six pi. So we'll split that in half and then split those in half. So half of six pi is three pi. Half of three pi is one and a half pi. And this is going to be halfway between three and six, which is four and a half. So I haven't been talking about that, but we can just find the average of three and six, which is four and a half. We'll try to do the same spacing over here, although we don't have a lot of room. So I'll just put those two in. This is negative one and a half and negative three pi. The amplitude is just a half. So let's put a one here. I didn't do this before. And then a negative one, but we're just at the half marks. Put some guidelines in here. Uh, we are graphing cosine. Cosine starts at its highest point, then goes down to zero, down to negative one, back up to zero, back to its highest point, and let's kind of off the paper here, but there's another point. So we can draw the first cycle of cosine. The period is longer this time, and its amplitude is shorter. So we're continuing the pattern here on the left side. And there you have it. We'll end that video for now.